doesn't know the word I can't. The, it just doesn't exist for her. It is more, how can I do it? My name is Callie Prohaska. I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I swim for the national team. My name is Missy Prohaska. I live in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I'm Callie's mother. Callie was born in the fall of 2002. Um, normal pregnancy, um, all normal test results, and when she was a C-section, and honestly, when the doctor pulled her out, he thought he dislocated her, her hip, and that's why he thought that one leg was different than the other, and they splinted her, and we waited for the orthopedic surgeon to come, and he diagnosed her with PFFD, proximal femoral focal deficiency, meaning she does not have a fever on her left. I had a bond nest rotation plasty in 2008 in the spring, and then I did physical therapy for about a year, and then I got into swimming kind of at the end of my physical therapy, and I've been swimming since. So five-year-olds don't really have a problem asking other people questions, and I never really had a problem answering them. I still don't. Like, I'll hear like a little five-year-old, you know, in like the grocery store, and they'll be like, mommy, what happened? And I'll just, I'll turn around and answer, because their mom's like, don't ask me. And I'll like turn around and answer anyway. It was just who she was. It was like having blonde hair to her. You know, it was just another thing. When we pointed out our kid doing something, we never said all the women with the prosthetic leg. We'd be like the little girl in the purple sweatshirt with the blonde hair or the pigtails. And then maybe 10 minutes into it, if the parents still couldn't find our kid, we'd be like, okay, the one with the prosthetic leg. And everybody was shocked, like, why don't you point that out first? And I'm like, because it doesn't define her. And Callie was very much a, I want everybody to know and get all their questions out of the way so we can just get on with, you know, learning or playing on the playground. It, it seems like always the adults are the ones that show her the difference. They were more quick to put the limitations on Callie than Callie would put on herself. They would worry about, you know, do we need to give her an extra roll in kickball or do we need to say, okay, we can't get Callie out. She gets she gets to get to first base. And that was the hardest thing to get the teachers and the people at the set. They thought that they were being friendly and helpful. But to Callie, that was, it was drawing attention to her difference. And she does not, she does not like that. After my surgery in 2008, I did physical therapy for about a year at Turnstone and their little therapy pool was where I learned how to swim. So she started swimming with Turnstone's lap club. It started off as just therapy to work that little leg when it wasn't in a prosthetic because she was not the kid that wanted to sit and do any kind of exercise at home. So we did struggle a little bit in finding something to keep her smaller legs strong um, and swimming was it. So we started swimming there, uh, and the moment she hit the water, she just, she loved it. I think it kind of evened the playing field with her, um, and actually her older sister at the time was in middle school and had to write a paper on somebody who inspired her. She wrote it on Kathy. Um, the English teacher had swimmers, twins, and she said, can I come watch your daughter swim? And she did. She showed up with a clipboard and a stopwatch and said, she is too fast to not be on a summer team. Her and the coaches just totally embraced the idea of getting Callie to be legal in all the strokes and pushing her forward because they, she just loved swimming from the moment she hit the water and she just, she wanted to be faster and better. And we didn't have anybody in that program that looked at her any differently. The coach was amazing. He's like, what can, how hard can I push her? And I'm like, as hard as you'd push any other, as hard as you would push anybody else at this level, at this age, that's, that's how you push hard. 
and whatever you can do, you know, to show her how to do a flip turn against the wall, one legged, or go off the box, one legged. And if we need to get a physical therapist here, that's what we'll do. Favorite would probably be the biggest meet I've been to is the Pan American Games. It was in 2019 in Lima, Peru. The Pan American Games get held every four years, the year before the Olympic and the Paralympic cycle hits. Lima 2019, the Pan American Games was a lot of fun. Got to stay in a village. Like they build like an Olympic village out. So it's essentially a games environment. And that was a lot of fun. I got my flag caps. That was a lot of fun. But for 2022, I had, at the end of the year, I had four races that put me as the fastest American and two that put me as the fastest in the world. She is nationally rostered to the US Paralympic swim team. We got our initial letter from Colorado Springs from the, it was just called the US Olympic Committee. Then, back then, uh, inviting Callie, they had seen, they saw her times through USA Swimming, her competitive club here in Fort Wayne. They saw her times and they wanted to invite her to come swim at some parody so that she could swim in front of the Paralympic coaches and staff. That was an amazing day, just getting that piece of mail. And then of course, every time she gets a new cut, you know, but just making that team where being picked for teams to go to world championships and the pair of Pan Pacific or the pair of Pan Ams and travel with that team in Anytime she gets invited to one of those higher level meets, it's always just a proud moment to see her name to the team. I coach for the club team that I swim with. After my practice, I get out and coach one of the littler groups. And, you know, little kids drop time so fast. You know, once you get older, it gets harder and harder to improve. But little kids get so excited about the pool because it's so much fun. Uh, I teach swim lessons, so I'll get in the water with kids sometimes. I've taught adaptive lessons, like at the YMCA, uh, for other little kids with disabilities. Most proud of Cal, uh, probably just her, the way she approaches life, I guess in general. She doesn't let anything stop her.